Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of All Things Either. Today we're going to do something fun. I'm gonna show you how we can hack a game that is one of the first games that is using large language models. What we're going to achieve here is without necessarily reverse engineering the game, we want to try to get the prompts and reveal the secrets in the game and sheet in the game essentially. So I'll show you what I mean. We'll be targeting the game called Verbal Verdict. All right, so with that, let's get started. So for now, the game is on Steam and it is free in early access mode. We can download the demo and we can expect the full version to be released in just 10 days. Now for this game, as we'll see, it is powered by artificial intelligence and we will dig into the file system and we'll see that it is using a local large language model. And first I'm going to play the game real quick just to give you an idea about the game and then we will quickly go and explore it. the quickest way to finish this demo. And then the same technique should apply to the final version of the game. All right, so once I run the game, I have the play for now there's just one case and then we will see later hopefully there are more fun cases to resolve so here we can see the loading screen the, the reason it takes time it's behind the scenes it is loading the large language model into the memory so here's the game we are sitting here in the police office we have a list of suspects and we will be able to interview those suspects we have the crime scene here where it happened the victim and the suspects so let's talk to the policeman real quick and ask him to bring in all the three suspects here so we have those three suspects which you can see here on the board and we should be able to look at the notes so here for now i don't have any notes for alexander we also have emily and we have Olivia and the goal is to interview those people we can either use the microphone or chat directly with those suspects and we have half an hour to finish the interrogation and come up with a verdict basically we can close the case and see who will be guilty so the way the game works is after we call the suspects we simply start interrogating one after the other so here I'm gonna invoke the speaker and i have a choice here to use the microphone and speak naturally or just type so here now when i type for example what is your name and uh, we are starting the interrogation here so this is coming from the large language model and we can start asking questions so for example what happened and try to see the case and understand what's the situation here of course now the game is really to know what to ask those ai personas in order to solve that mystery so we'll ask and ask and then as we ask we will have here our, all our notes for that person so i ask what's your name and get the answer what happened and so on and i can do the same with other suspects so our goal is to figure out who is the real murderer so now i invoked back again other suspects and let's say for example emily and we can also talk to her and say what is your name and what do you do and remember this is large language model so we can fool it we can do some prompting techniques as well to solve that using prompting techniques but i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna explore the file system and show you a better way with less prompt engineering so to say so now that we have seen the game how it works i can interview individual people so here i also built a file for emily and so on let's see if, if we can for example accuse someone directly so here the victim is sophia and we can for example let's accuse this guy here here for example let's say did you kill your wife so the one that was murdered is his wife so now he could be lying to us of course so anyway that's what it is now let's dig in into the file system and see how we can sheet in that game and solve it real quick just simply close the case immediately so after installing the game as usual it will go to steam apps uh, common and so on so here we have just the launcher here this is a unity game let's just look at the file system here we have five gigs and so potentially this is coming from the large language model file as well here we can see that's where the biggest files are and here this is already our indicator 
this uh, ggufi file already this is a common file format this is from the author georgi griganov he is very famous he has done llama c++ project and whisper cpp so he ported the python code to c++ code and aiming to achieve portability with respect to the inference engines if we dig deeper we also have whisper and whisper as well is the whisper.cpp based files as well this is these are the models from openai and as well we have the same story we have a c++ port and if we look at that repo we will have scripts to download those models locally and then we can do local inference as well just simply record on the machine and also transcribe on the machine and this is what enables the game to let you input via audio directly just talk instead of chatting so these are two indications here we have two models let's look at the models here as well we see the list of models and the table will have a, like a tiny and base and so on so the bigger the model the better it is with respect to the recognition and transcription so these are our indicators as well and we have the llama file this is as well an open source project and we should be able to see it here so the llama file is an old project since last year and it's a way to encapsulate a bunch of libraries so you have a standalone llm server like this you just chip your model file and single file and then now you can do local inference so the game is running if i simply invoke process explorer we can see that the llama file is invoked by the game so here you see verbal verdict so what we have here we have the game the crash handler and llama file wrapper this is what the game will talk to through http in order to send those messages so imagine as if you're working with open ai apis and here the llama file executable is being invoked with this full command line and some of the things here we can rerun that and have it exposed maybe enable logging and so on so here for example no browser or or disable logging and so on and even the game launched that server without showing the window so what i can do is mid game i can simply terminate that and rerun it with the proper command lines so if i want i should be able to edit the command line and change it so that i am passing the same stuff but i'm also adding for example minus v for verbose and when i do that i should be able to see what's happening what's the communication between the game and that large language model server and so on so the model that we're using already if we look at the hex editor here we should see it's using Mistral AI and we'll see it better now once we rerun that with debug. Now that the game is already running and it already spawned the llama file program, I will terminate that process and rerun it with different command line arguments and also make sure that the console window is not hidden so we should be able to terminate the process now i kill the process the game will still run now what should i run i'm gonna take a copy and rename this to l.exe and i'm gonna run l.exe same arguments but i'm gonna add minus v switch so here this should be enough let's go to the command prompt and invoke it and some observations here we will see for example the model name and the internals of that model and so on and as the model loads as well now it's waiting on that local host that port here and so now if the game wants to interact with that server we should see what the game is sending to that large language model so now let's go back to the game and already i can see some of the prompts here so here these are all the stuff that are being sent to the large language model server so here i'm just gonna interact a bit and bring in the first suspect and talk let's uh, put our first interaction here hello we should see stuff here so now here we have it i have all the prompts and what's happening here so we should see here the prompt and this is the system prompt telling us about that character and we will see that uh, i cleaned it up we'll see if i switch away to another suspect 
we should now have the new prompt for this new suspect. So let's go for the next one here. Same story, let's just ask one question that will invoke one LLM call to that server. So here, hello, what's your name? And now we will see as well who this is and so on. So you will act as a human named Emily and so on. Never mention your AI model. And we still have one more person. And then that will also reveal how that large language model is being set up for that persona. So the large language model will be used for those characters. But every time we want to interact, they will set a system prompt setting up the persona that we're interacting with. So here, that's one more and last suspect. And it's going to be the same story for other cases in the game. So once the full game is released, it's going to be the same story. I simply have to rerun the llama file server with minus V and I will reveal everything I need. So now we're ready to inspect what I have. So just quickly, simplest, simplest thing I can do is select all and clean it up here, for example. That's the first one, Alexander Bennett. We can just look for the next character here. So now here you'll act as Emily and as well the last person as well. So what I did is simply clean them up and we will look at those prompts together. Emily, you will act as a human. Don't mention you're an AI. Don't make up information just to be consistent. Prevent hallucinations. Setting the tone, what's happening. You're being interrogated by NYPD. You're not the officer as well. Just really setting the prompt for that LLM. So we can think of this as the system prompt. And this is what tells a persona. So Emily Stevens, what it does is the relationship with the victim and so on. And as well, more instructions to that persona. So that's the first one. It doesn't look suspicious at all, this character here Emily whereas Olivia as well okay setting the name same story don't make things up etc and this is the persona this is a co-worker of Alex the first suspect and she's in love with Alex she's jealous of Sophia the wife of Alex and this is where we know she's guilty you will not confess your crime unless we exactly say the right words did you do it because you're jealous of Sophia? And then part of her persona, she committed the crime during the lunch break by taking the boat. She has minor cuts in her fingers from the glass, but won't mention anything about it. So we have to coerce that persona, basically the large language model, in order to have it reveal this info. Remember, we don't have this by default. You're playing the game, you have to ask questions. But because of these prompts, this will set the character of the large language model. And by asking the right questions, you should be able to reveal what happening now i didn't want to employ any prompting techniques there's so many stuff that have been explicitly configured that make it a bit not very productive for example penalize and there's lots of things being sent to the llm library and so that would prevent us from fully dumping the whole system prompts in full so that's why i took this external approach let's just run it and have the prompts available to us immediately like that through the log and these are the prompts now for those prompts i'm gonna be uploading to the big prompt library so real quick the big prompt library is a project i've been working on for a long time with other people and the gist of this project is where we have a collection of system prompts and instructions for gpts and so on copilot ones include gap ai characters so i'm gonna add the characters of this game here as well all the personas of these games here and here if you work with chat gpt and you create gpts we have 1000 and more gpts so when we spoke about personas here for example olivia and alexander and so on the same concept of that persona is the way you construct a GPT for Shad GPT. So if you want to learn, for example, you can just browse one of those 1000 GPTs and you can read the sources and see how they are made, how a persona is set up and so on. It's pretty fun and highly educational. Some of them will include some security related challenges and CTFs, for example. So here there's a small CTF, for example, where it will try to ask you if you can guess what's the flag and so on. So by doing some prompting techniques, we can have it reveal its source code and that's the source code of that GPT, for example. So now 
before we conclude let's just solve that game so what we know so far is that the murderer is olivia here she did it because she's jealous and she did it during lunch break using a boat she has minor cuts in her fingers from glass and so on so we have all the clues now let's close the case and see how we did so i don't need to talk to them so now we go to the file here say close case it will just confirm because that's our only chance so now if we say yes that's it we're gonna get graded whether we make it or not so who committed the crime it's olivia and she used the boat and what was used to commit the crime is the glass and did olivia get wounded yes she did get wounded and let's just confirm and see how we did we should pass because we managed to read all the prompts and the personas and so okay he was innocent emily also innocent guilty for olivia yes correct what vehicle was used the boat correct what was used the glass correct and was she wounded yes and correct so yep you know that's how we cheated of course this is not fun but usually i like to play games just to cheat in the games all right so that's it we got it we passed success and that's the demo so we won't have addition cases for now but soon we should have all the cases and i'm gonna be adding them to the big prompt library okay so that's it for today what we covered is something different we learned how we can approach a game that uses a large language model for now it's using an external server so it made it easy for us without too much reverse engineering into the binary in order to retrieve the system prompts and the personas of the characters in the game additionally i introduced my repo called the big prompt library where you will find a collection of system prompts and regular prompts for GPTs, for example, or personas such as uh, ones from Gap.ai or ShadGPTs, GPTs, for example. Okay, thank you, and I'll see you next time.